Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain. Today I've got a tweak for you called 360 Mobile Safe. And this is a way to protect any phone numbers or text messages that you may have that you don't want anyone else to see for whatever reasons you may have. That's going to be your little secret. Uh, or you can block phone calls from coming in or text messages or things like that and it's called 360 safe 360 mobile safe and it is free right now in this in my my eye i'm pretty sure is where it was at but i can't believe that all this work has gone into this to this uh application and it's free and on top of that, this looks like an app that you would see in the iTunes store. The only reason I think that it probably isn't is it, it breaks the Apple code, so to speak, of blocking and pass, putting passwords on different things inside the app. But anyway, let me show you some of its features. Uh, first off, when you open it up on the left side top, you got your a little tools button, and here you can power off, reboot, or respring. Okay, and here you have your settings. You can tap it and go into the settings part of it, and here's where you can enable or disable the status bar icon. Um, I don't know if you can see up there or not right now, but. Uh, let me do something. I've been having some some requests on uh, that my brightness has been too high, and maybe it has. Okay, let's turn it up to about right. Let's try it about right there and see how it does. This is a very sensitive camera. The uh, optics in it are are unbelievably strong, and they pick up things that you can't hardly see with your eye. Uh, looking at that screen, it's very dark right now, but on camera it looks like it's just like it should be. Anyway, let's go back in. You can see on the springboard here that it puts in a little icon with a little plus on it. And up here in the status bar, it puts a little uh, a little icon type. And you can enable or disable that. You see when I turn that off, status bar, status bar icon. The icon is no longer visible in the status bar. Turn it back on, and it reappears. And here you can turn on the vibrate. You can disable the, your message preview. I know a lot of times when I get a text message or something like that, I don't want other people seeing what the preview says or what it says when it pops up. And this is a good way to do that. You also can see here that you have a show a hang up bar. If you get a phone call or something like that and show the contact number, you can enable and disable that when you get an incoming phone call. Guys, this is a very in depth application and it would take me hours to go through everything on it. So I'm just sort of going to hit the high points and I'm going to leave the rest of it for you to find out about on your own. Uh, they've got things you can read on here and learn how to do every bit of this and and you're you're as very much as capable of learning how to do it as I am but here you see you've got a block records and in here it keeps a record of any text messages that you've received or phone calls that you've received that's been blocked and you can you see here I was playing around with it and I put a uh, couple numbers in the blacklist it calls it and if these numbers were to try to call my phone then it wouldn't they wouldn't be allowed and then you can go in under the settings part of it and tell it what to do when it blocks a call for the call block action I've got deny the call and you can also tell it to pretend that the lines busy answer it or hang up immediately or just mute the ringer or ignore the call completely. That's going to be up to you. And you can also leave an auto reply message, which I thought was a cool thing, especially on a text message if you get a text from someone that you want a text message from. You could even use that there. Say, uh, I'm away right now, I'll be right back, blah, blah, blah. 
Here's a privacy box, they call it, and a strong box where you can go in and you can password protect any numbers or phone calls that you receive. And they would even, if it was a private phone call number that you wanted to remain private, then the log wouldn't even appear in your logs on your iPhone. It would appear under here. Uh, somehow or another, they've got it figured out. Strongbox, pretty much the same way. And here you can lock all the apps and unlock all the apps on your phone. Suppose your phone gets stolen. You can send a text message along with a code that will automatically lock down your phone. And if someone tries to open it, it will even sound like this. And it also, every time they try to key in the, the passcode, it takes two pictures of them. And I guess that, that, that it, they could send that picture to you or you could get it from iCloud and see who has got your phone. So this is a pretty good little tweak. And this video is getting pretty long, guys, so I'm going to cut it off right there. If this is something you think you could use, check it out. It's free right now. Go over to iPhoneCaptain.com. Come over and check it out every day. I update every single day. I don't have a life. So I spend my time at iPhoneCaptain.com. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.